All right, 25, it's, we have a florist that wants to investigate whether a new powder added to the water of cut flowers helps to keep the flowers fresh longer than just water alone. So for a shipment of roses that was delivered to the store, the florist flipped a coin before placing each rose in its individual container with water. And if the coin landed heads up, the rose is placed in water with the new powder. Otherwise, the rose is placed in water alone. So which of the following is the best description of the method used by the florist? Okay, so the first thing you want to recognize is that you got an experiment going on. You got an experiment because uh, treatment was imposed. He did something. Um, he did something with flowers, you know. He basically had um, them broken down into two groups. One would just... An, in a container by itself with water. And the other one was with water and a new powder. So those are, those are basically the, the two treatments you got going on here. And um, the way he chose that was by, just by flipping a coin. And that allows you for just uh, basically uh, to randomize you know, the treatments um, to each row without being biased. So this is, a, this is basically the basic randomized experiment, you know, an experiment with a randomized design. So the answer is B. Nothing fancy here, no blocks, nothing, no strap, nothing like that. 26, a commercial for a breakfast cereal is shown during a certain television program. The manufacturer of the cereal wants to estimate the percent of television viewers to watch the program. The manufacturer wants to estimate to have a marg wants to estimate to have a margin of error of at most 0.02 at a level of 95% confidence. Of the following, which is the smallest sample size that will satisfy the manufacturer's requirements? Okay, so for this, your margin of error is set at 0.02, or more specifically, you want 0.02 be to be more than or equal to the value of the the critical value, in this case, Z star, times the standard deviation, in this case will be P hat, because we're talking about percent or proportion. So we're essentially solving this for N. Now we're not given, um, we're not given a like any like previous studies, so no values for the sample proportion. So when you're not given any previous studies or anything, you're gonna set P hat to be 0.5. So you have 0 0.5 times one minus 0.5 or 0.5 times 0.5 over N. And your Z star, remember, you're, that's just the value. This is your Z score with 95%, you know, in the middle. Now, usually you can use the, you know, for a rough approximation, you can use the one, two, three, like, you know, the rule, the one, one standard deviation is 68%, two standard deviations is 95%. But more specifically, um, it's really more like 1.96 standard deviations away from the middle would be um, your Z star. And again, you can use your calculator table to get that, but your Z star would be 1.96 if you want to be more precise. And it just becomes solving this inequality. Hopefully this isn't the hard part. I know some students may get overwhelmed by the algebra, but you can, there's a couple ways to go about this. You can divide both sides by the 1.96. And to undo the square root, you're gonna square both sides. We have 0.5 times 0.5 on the right over N. And what you eventually get is you multiply that by N. I mean, you technically are multiplying both sides by N over one, I guess. That cancels there. And number one over, is over there. And then you divide by this whole quantity. So what you have is n is greater than or equal to 0 0.5 times 0.5 or 0.25 divided by this whole thing, divided by the 0 0.02 over the 1.96 squared. So you can just basically crank this out in your calculator. I usually like to do this first just so you don't um I don't make a like a mistake but it's not it's just up to you so I got this for the denominator on top I'm going to have 0.5 times 0.5 which is 0 0.25 0 0.25 remember that that exponent e means basically times 10 and negative fourth 
or it's basically one move to the right four units or four four um four spots. And we get about 2400.1 for n. So n has to be at least 2400.99 And again, you don't pick necessarily the closest value, but in this case, it still is the closest value. But you want to at least, you want to pick the closest value that's above the, the um, sample size to be conservative. So in other words, you wouldn't go to 2400. You would go to you know, 2401 or anything above this. So this would work. All right, 27. The contestants' final wins on a game show are determined by a random selection of a base amount and a possible multiplier. For the base amount, the contestant randomly selects one of four cards where two cards are marked $1,000, one card is marked $2,000, and one card is marked $5,000. After choosing the card, the contestant randomly selects one of five chips, where three chips are red and two chips are white. If the selected chip is red, the contestant's final winnings are twice the value of the base amount. If the selected chip is white, the contestant's final winnings are the value of the base amount. What is the probability that the contestant's final winnings are exactly $2,000? Okay, so this seems like there's a lot going on, but you're basically just doing two things in a row. You're going to select one of four cards. So you can either, you can either get a card that gives you $1,000, a card that gives you $2,000, or a card that gives you $5,000. Uh, since you have four cards where two give you 1,000, you have a, um, a one in two chance, or you can say a two in four chance of getting $1,000. That one, the one of the four cards is 2,000, so you have a one in four chance there. And the other card is 5,000, so you have a one in four chance there. Now, after you pick these cards, then you pick five or you pick one chip. So you can either end up picking a red chip or a white chip from each of these possibilities. Now, you want to see which of these pathways le leads to you having $2,000 exactly. So, so if you select a red chip, you get twice your initial amount. So if we can't get $1,000 and we double it by with the red, that leads to us having $2,000. So you wanna find the probability of this, this pathway. And the other way you, you can get $2,000 is if you get $2,000 on from the card and then select the white chip because um, the white chip just keeps it the same. So you can also have this possibility. So the probability of this occurring would be the probability of this plus the probability of this. The probability of this up there would be two fourths times the probability of red, which is three, three fifths, three out of five. So two fourths times three fifths plus this probability of that good selecting a two thousand dollar card, which is one fourth times the probability of white, of again a white chip, which will be um two out of five. So this times two fifths. So you just add this basic fraction sum, so you get six twentieths plus two twentieths, which is eight twentieths or 0.4. And your answer will then be E. Okay, so I hope that helps with those ones. Good luck.